Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm back with a little bit of an interesting one. Uh, we're doing another speed build today, but this is going to be a motel, which is not something we really have in The Sims. We have rental lots where your Sims can like rent out a house and stay there on a vacation, but we don't have hotels, motels, anything like that. But I thought it'd be a really fun idea to create a rundown grungy motel in the world of Moonwood Mill and that is exactly what we are doing here today. I'm so proud of how this build came out. It's really disgusting. Uh, your sims are probably not going to have a good time if they stay here, but I think it could be fun for some storytelling. So I hope you will enjoy this one. If you do and you'd like to download this build, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, or under the hashtag Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. The inspiration behind this is I feel like over the last couple of weeks, I've been doing a couple of builds that are inspired by concepts that we really want in The Sims 4. I started by doing an apartment that was for a band as we don't currently have bands in The Sims 4 and then I did a fairy cottage last week and now we are working on a hotel because I feel like those are all really big asks right now in the game so I thought it would be kind of fun to imagine what it would be like if we did have those and of course if I'm creating a hotel I didn't want to make like a fancy nice luxurious space. I wanted to make something completely disgusting uh, because if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that that is my favorite sort of builds to create like junkyards and abandoned places. It's just so much fun. So a really disgusting motel like right off the highway in the middle of nowhere was right up my alley. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're just working on the structure right now. And I also thought it would be nice to have a bunch of like little AC units under each of the windows. Uh, and then over here is going to be like the office where you go to rent a room, get your keys or your what whatever you would need to get into these rooms. Uh, I also painted a few different times. I started with this brick, but I end up changing it to a like wooden siding, kind of like a log siding in the end, which is one that we got with Horse Ranch. But I am using a lot of the werewolves pack in this build as that is the setting I have this built in. And I also at first am using like a floor tile here to represent the parking spaces, but I'm going to be switching that out later for terrain paint and I go all out with the landscaping on this lot. I feel like I just, I had so much fun with this. <laughs> I put so much overgrown grass and dirt and cracks and tears and splotches of disgusting things that I'm starting to put down now. So we have some of these stains that came with Strangerville. I also end up putting these little awnings over all of the doors. I just thought I added a little bit of extra decor and I, I was trying to make this as detailed as I possibly could. Uh, most of the rooms are very similar in that they have like the same furniture or different swatches of different furniture. Um, and there's a couple that have a slightly different layout. There's one that's not really usable as a hotel room anymore. I feel like Maybe something bad happened there. So uh, there's some storytelling that could be told here for sure. And then I'm just working on our parking spaces. I'm drawing these out using a low-lying fence that came with the Get to Work expansion pack. Whenever I use this, I get a lot of asks about uh, what that is, whether I draw parking spots with it or I use it to like to divide rooms when I'm separating different floor tiles. Uh, but then all of these cars are actually from the cheat. Uh, show live edit objects, which is basically grabbing all of the cars you see in the background of the different worlds where like maybe not on the roads in Willow Creek, there's a car driving by or like the back roads in one of the other worlds. They're not functional cars. They're just decorative. But that's what I'm using here to fill up <laughs> these parking lots. And also all of these little signage pieces, I think are so nice. I was going through and adding these just for some character and then in a little while, I will be finding the perfect motel sign is actually from Werewolves. It's in the debug catalog for that. And I didn't realize we had it. And as soon as I found it, I was like, yes, we need this. I kept all of the other signage as well because I felt like it still worked. Um, but we're just adding onto this parking lot. And this is where I'm deciding to get rid of all of the tile and use terrain paint instead to make it feel a little bit messier and blend into some of the landscaping that I wanted to do. Uh, so we're starting by getting some like more cracks and stuff on the ground, like under this car, there's a big crack. Uh, we're going to be getting one that's from the Get Famous expansion pack, this one, like this giant pothole in the middle of the 
area. I'm going to have some grass growing out of that. Later on, I'm going to probably put some. I don't know why I said probably. I know way later, though. Uh, I'm going to be putting like cones around it, being like, hey, don't go through this area. I'm just trying to make the space look really old and gross and like it's falling apart. It's seen better days, but I don't think they're going to go ahead and fix it up anytime soon. They're still getting people to rent. It's probably at a really affordable rate to stay here per night. It just might be a little bit on the dangerous side because there's werewolves lurking in the shadows and... Uh, you know, there's probably bed bugs, there's spiders, there's mice. <laughs> it, the whole place is like covered in mold. And I don't know what else. There's like mysterious red liquid dripping out of like the walls and in the carpets. Like stay here at your own risk, basically. <laughs> but there is some vending machines outside if you have uh, the need for your Sims to get some food. Also, most of the hotel rooms, actually, I think all of the motel rooms here have a microwave and a coffee pot and some of them have a desk some don't and there's like a tv in most of them but some of the tvs are broken so keep that in mind it's very outdated and disgusting and uh, you never know what you're gonna get also one of the motel rooms is actually like really it's not really nice it's nice compared to the rest of them uh, I did build this over on Twitch first and chat and I were thinking that the one nicer motel room which is still outdated it's just not, it doesn't look like there was a crime committed there. Uh, that's the one that they show on like the listing photos to try and get people to rent here. <laughs> and maybe occasionally like a friend might stay there because, you know, it's a nice room. Uh, so you'll see that in <laughs> the build as well. It was just really fun coming up with how we wanted to decorate all of the spaces and uh, adding a little bit of variety to them, but still making it feel like they're pretty cohesive. I also added like large vehicles on this lot because why not? I feel like it just added to it. I found this in Gbug and I just needed to add it. So it's tucked over here in the corner. And I also got some tree trunks for some chopped down trees. Uh, just really trying to enclose this space and make it look realistic. We have a little like fence over by the dumpster area. I got some billboards around and this is the sign that I thought was so perfect for the motel. I love it so much. And then I'm just adding some little low lying fences, which are actually from the Journey to Patu pack to line out an area to put some like shrubbery and stuff by the main office. I just felt like we needed like some sort of fencing to separate where greenery would go over here. Like some semblance of planning for landscaping unlike the rest of the lot where everything is a bit overgrown. I also put like a stack of chairs out by the dumpster. We have this lovely like bonfire area that's like a bunch of trash stacked up. I also put a plant outside. You can see the vending machines down here. I'm going to be moving them here shortly because I realized that I didn't have these correctly mirrored once I work on the floor plan on the interior that the um the doors should be on the other side uh, but I will fix that and it shouldn't be a problem I also wanted to leave some bowls out for strays that might come by I believe I set this lot as like strays welcome I'm not sure what the name of that is but I've put like cat mats outside of all of the doors so that cats can come to stay here I thought that that would be cute even though <laughs> it's a werewolf area I just liked the idea and then I decided this back corner looked a little weird so I decided to add this little tower back here which is a little strange uh, but it ends up being a three floor space and on the bottom floor is where there's a laundry area. So if the Sims staying here want to do laundry, they can. And then the middle floor is like storage. And then the top floor has like some werewolf stuff because I was thinking that the owner of this property is a werewolf and it would be their space that they could go when they are rampaging. So that was the idea there. But you can see I'm working on the floor plans now. Basically, we have the bed there. When you first walk in, there's going to be the entrance to the bathroom and two of the rooms on each floor are slightly bigger than the others and then the end units are smaller uh, but those ones also have more windows it's just kind of how it worked out and this is where i'm changing the orientation here because i didn't have them lining up the same way on this side and i wanted it to be more cohesive so just moving a couple of things around fixing that and i think it worked quite well so i wasn't mad at it the only thing that was a little bit iffy was i had to reposition where i was going to have the vending machines so they're in the corner down here instead, which is a little weird, but I feel like it works out, especially because this whole place is supposed to be like run down and messed up that I feel like having them kind of shoved in a corner made sense. Uh, so then just going through and figuring out the flooring, I decided to use the shag carpet and then I painted all of the ceilings with this white carpet so that it looked like we had popcorn ceilings uh, to add to that more older styled building. 
And uh, then we were working on our first hotel room, so, or motel room. I'm using this bed in this one from the Horse Ranch pack. I use a variety of this bed as well as the like air mattress from the dumpster diving in Eagle Lifestyle and also uh, one of the beds that came with Cottage Living. I wanted them to mostly still look like hotel room beds, <laughs> but uh, this one is a little bit more rustic, so I feel like it works. There's a big stain in the carpet. We have these outdated curtains, uh, some like beat up counters over here to put your uh, microwave and coffee pot on. I will be actually adding a mini fridge in here as well a little bit later. And of course, adding all of these scratches and tears on the walls. I use these outdated lamps from the basement treasures kit. I use quite a bit of that kit in this build. I feel like it comes in handy with all the wall decals and the broken lamps and stuff. I was I was quite happy with it. Uh, that's where the TV unit is from as well. That one is not functional. It's just a table, but I thought that, that was a really cool piece to include in here. So some of the rooms have that one and some have the other one from the basement kit that's actually functional, but like really broken. <laughs> so um, over in this corner, I just have a little dresser so your Sims can actually, you know, plan outfits and stuff there. And then we're moving on into the bathroom after we place down this broken mirror. Actually, no, we're getting the mini fridge first, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, uh, but we're we're close to going into the bathroom which all of the bathrooms are pretty much the same. They just have slightly different layouts for the ones that are slightly bigger. And then there's a different variety of clutter slash dirt in each of them. Uh, but I thought having the same layout and fixtures and stuff made sense. So we have this base game shower and sink or toilet. And then the sink is from Horse Ranch and like an old mirror and stuff in here. So pretty simple. I also do use quite a bit of tool in this build to go ahead and rotate paintings and things like that to make things look like they are falling off the walls. I thought that that was quite realistic for this idea. We have like puddles of water in the bathrooms, which is disgusting. And uh, I actually use this really ugly orange tile as well. It feels very outdated and I thought it was perfect for this grungy motel. Uh, now we're just heading out back to add the stairs in this tower because I, I just wanted to I don't think we decorate this yet. I think we're going to decorate it later, but I just wanted to plan out how the staircases were going to work in that space for some reason. You know, that's just kind of how it goes. Sometimes I pop around builds and uh, I do them in whatever order I feel inspired to do so. So this is going to be the second hotel room. As you can see, we are using this bed that you can get from dumpster diving. And I think it's like the perfect color for a more rundown motel room. <laughs> and we have like the same bathroom fixtures just getting a painting above the bed and rotating it, of course. I feel like that just adds so much. I also used it used this lamp from the basement kit, the standing lamp. I was thinking maybe the other one completely broke, so they brought in a standing lamp, but it's also falling apart a little bit. And since the actual rugs in each room are really gross, I thought that they would bring in like some area rugs to try and cover the gross carpets. That's why there's carpet on carpet in each of these rooms. Uh, but the rugs, of course, are falling apart at this point too, so... Uh, the variety of how dirty each of these rooms is going to be is going to be very interesting to talk about. Uh, like this one doesn't seem too bad yet, but uh, they're going to continue to get worse. And uh, this is the first one I'm having that's going to have a desk instead. And we also have a built in wardrobe, which is something I include in the bigger hotel rooms or motel rooms because there's space. Uh, and then, you know, starting to add some more decals on the walls. <laughs> to make it look like it's really fallen apart here. And uh, I don't know, I feel like this would be so fun for storytelling. I'm really curious if we're ever gonna get hotels in The Sims 4 because I would love to have the story of like my Sims staying here and it would just be so fun. I mean, you can just rent it out as a rental lot, but only your Sims would be staying here. It's not going to be like other people are staying in other rooms unless you figure that out somehow. I, I don't know how that would work. Or I guess you could own this as your house and then have stayover guests and that could be like you renting out the hotel rooms to people I think that could be kind of fun there's different ways you could play with this but regardless I had so much fun like thinking about this and telling the story like these items that you're left behind we have glasses under the bed we have some dirty mugs somebody left their dentures here there's food in the microwave <laughs> Uh, a lot of those ideas were from my chat and I just thought that they were so fun so we incorporated them into the build and speaking of which, if you'd like to be part of it in the future, I do stream three to five days a week over on twitch.tv slash Griffey and we build things like this where we come up with ideas together and it's just so much fun. They eventually end up on YouTube, but 
Uh, it, it's such a different experience just chatting live and coming up with ideas together. So I would love to have you join us. It's completely free. Feel free to uh, join us in the future. There's a link in the description. Uh, but this room actually has room for an infant. I don't know why you want to bring an infant into this motel, but <laughs> it was something we decided to do just so we'd have a slightly different layout for one of the rooms. I didn't want any of them to be like two single beds for some reason. I really liked the idea of the double beds, I guess because they're a little bit more grungy. Uh, so that's what I did here, but we do have a crib over here, and um, I think this room comes out pretty good as well. We're just getting some more artwork on the wall, of course, rotating it, all of the cracks and tears. I'm going to move the wardrobe over into this corner, kind of just make everything fit ever so snugly, and then we were able to get a dresser in this one, which I don't remember if any of the other rooms have a dresser. I think maybe one of them does, and then I just get a painting up here, good old Jerry, <laughs> so putting him here and then I believe we get one of the broken lamps as well over there yeah and a couple more decorations in the bathroom and that should be it for this motel room before we head to the next one I just add like some toilet paper in here and also like some cleaning supplies and stuff that were left in this room <laughs> obviously I don't think this space gets cleaned very often but I, the idea of somebody leaving those supplies around makes sense to me so moving on to the motel room that is supposed to be the nicer one. I think you can tell by the swatch of this bed. It's not as run down. We still have the old lamps and bedside tables, but this is the nicer one. We have some modern artwork, a nice rug in here, some pretty curtains. Like it's still got all the same stuff, but I'm using the less dirty versions of it. So we have the new versions of these counters instead of the city living, city living version. There's a sink in here. The cabinets are clean. We have a nice table over here with a old TV, but not as gross as the other one. Some more a nice artwork. And then the bathroom compared to the others is clean. It still has the old tile and stuff, but it's not all like covered in mysterious liquids, which I feel like is a good thing. So from the pictures, this just looks like an outdated area. It doesn't look dangerous or scary. It's just, it's just outdated and I think that's good. Uh, but moving on to that, from that into our normal rooms that are a little bit more scary. At this point, when I was picking out artwork for each room, I got the idea that maybe the art pieces were things that the owners here picked up at the thrift store, at Goodwill, things like that. So they don't all entirely make sense. Like I think this is a wedding portrait of some random Sims, but I liked the idea of just grabbing random pieces to decorate the motel. <laughs> so I thought it worked pretty well in here. Uh, this is one of the ones that also has the non-functional TV unit. And then we have a desk over in the corner uh, for your Sims to sit and do whatever at. Uh, so we don't have like the extra TV over there. We just have a lamp and things. I think it's pretty realistic to have a um, like just a desk in the corner anyway in a room. So I thought it was fine. And then there's some mysterious stains on the floor. And then this hotel room or motel room, I think is so cool because we decided to use the old heart bed that's leaning against the wall. So there's not a functional bed in this room. It looks like something bad happened here. I also decided to put a bubble blower machine in here with some chairs. Maybe some staff hangs out in here now because it's a room that they don't use anymore. There's a mysterious duffel bag of cash and... I don't know what's going on in this room, but I thought it was a fun one and a little bit different than the rest of the rooms, kind of add some variety and some more storytelling to the space. I also end up putting like a caution thing outside the door so Sims aren't supposed to come in here. We have a bat by the door uh, for any intruders that are trying to come in. And uh, then we're moving on to, I believe, our final motel room. I think so. Uh, this one is similar to the others in that it's just a bit run down. We're using one of these beds from Cottage Living, which I think is really pretty. But I feel like in this setting, it could be kind of gross. Like, it looks fine, but uh, kind of making everything else around it look gross. It's like, oh, okay, so they bleached the sheets, but the rest of the room, questionable. Uh, so just getting some more artwork on the wall. We have a, a couple of mismatching lamps in here as well as a clock. That little like paper stand I put on all of the bedside tables or on the desks and stuff in all of the rooms I was thinking has all of the information about the place you're staying, places to go, a lack of room service, all of that information, but it's probably very outdated. It hasn't been updated in like 15 years or something like that. At least that's what I was thinking, but just getting our coffee machine and our microwave and all of that, 
before we start working on the landscaping as the pathway to this tower space, which is where I end up putting the laundry area and storage and all of that that I had mentioned earlier. So just getting some vines on the side of the building since there are no windows over here. And I thought that that helped make it look more complete and like I didn't just forget the side of the building. I felt like it needed something. Uh, so I have four laundry machines in here and a couple of places to sit, lots of stains and stuff. I put some newspapers on the floor as if you were trying to like mop up the spills with the newspapers. I just wanted it to look as like run down as the rest of the space. And then this is the storage level because it's really small. I wasn't sure what to do here, but I thought that would be kind of a fun storytelling thing to just have a bunch of random items that maybe are extra pieces or things that are no longer used here. We have some cones here for when there are damages. We have some of those in the parking lot for that big pothole. And of course, I got lots of scuffs on the walls and spider webs. And then up on the top floor, this is that room that I had mentioned. I was thinking the owner could go to when they are rampaging during <laughs> the full moon. So I do have a couch up here as well as a punching bag and just some like newspapers and stuff on the windows. I'm also going to get one of the curtains here, which is just like a sheet over the window. That's one of my favorite items from Werewolves. I think there's some really cool stuff from that pack and uh, that comes in handy for a lot of builds. But of course, this one's kind of werewolf themed and run down. So if you want to build run down things in general, I would definitely recommend the Werewolves pack. It is so good. But anyway, we are moving into the final part of this build now, which is going to be the main office where you go to go ahead and get your room key. I used these like key plaques on the wall to represent uh, the keys you can get. I I'm assuming they're not actually like that, but they could be because it feels like everything here is really outdated. I was thinking everything is like on paper. We don't document things in the computer here. Uh, everyone like signs into their room and writes down their information in a book. <laughs> that was the idea anyway. And obviously we have a nice broken lamp here, some old bookcases, this desk from werewolves that's like a broken door, which I think is so cool. And lots of filing cabinets to keep all of the records in of like the guests that stay here. And uh, yeah, just filling up the decor in here. I got the spider web in the bottom of this bookcase. I thought that that looked so, so cool. Also that bookcase is from the basement clutter kit. No, the basement treasures kit. That's what it's called. Keep wanting to call it a clutter kit, but it's so good as are a lot of the scuffs that I'm putting on the floor. And then just, of course, getting some curtains up in here, just some blinds. Also that like stolen ATM machine in the corner I thought was perfect for this space. You can take out cash because I also assume because they're doing everything on paper with no computers that they only take cash if you're staying here. Uh, so I thought having that in here would be nice. It's down right now though, so you can't get anything from it. So make sure you bring cash if you're planning to check in. Uh, but I liked that idea. And then I also added a couch for your Sims to sit on while they're checking in, some extra papers, and we have that like bulletin board thing that has the wanted pictures in it uh, from Get to Work. I thought that was kind of fun. And when we were building this over on Twitch, chat suggested a lot of the people that are on those wanted signs are probably staying at this location. So a little fun thing there. And yeah, just getting some more decor. I did add the uh, the the landline phone over here on the old lunchbox. I thought that that was a fun addition and getting a couple more pieces just to make this space feel finished. Some more scuffs and tears on the walls. And then we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this build. I had a blast with it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the screenshots. Bye everyone.